In a word, how would you sum up the last eight months of your career? Um, unbelievable. Eight months ago, would you have believed you'd be at the Euros with England? No. Would you have backed yourself? Yeah. Does it feel like the place to be for you? Here? Yeah. Hmm. Why? Um, I feel like I've worked hard this season, you know, and um, with the club I've been trying my hardest to, to, um, to contribute to the team and luckily in the end I had done enough. And being here, being part of this group, what's the feeling? Yeah, it's positive. It's such a good group of lads. I mean, off the pitch and on the pitch, there's so much quality. And I think we're going to reach high levels in this tournament. In the Slovenia game, there was one standout moment for a lot of fans. It came right near the end. The pass from Anthony Gordon to you, what happens? Yeah, the flick. That's you. That's your style. Yeah. Where's it come from? Um, I feel like I've always played like that since I was young. You know, I like to have the ball and I always like to do tricks and stuff. So. Yeah, I feel like I've grown up playing that way. Your hometown? It's like what? There are two players from the same town in this England squad. They call him the Stockport Iniesta. What do they call you? Cobby. <laughs> that's, that's what you prefer? Yeah. Growing up, how would you describe your relationship with football? Love. From the very start? Yeah, 100%. What's the first memory? First memory, um, I mean my parents taking me to the local high school to play, it was like, I don't know how old I would have been, three, four, four maybe, and it's like uh, your parents joining and stuff when you first learn to play and that, that type of thing, yeah. But instantly you felt right, football? Yeah, 100%. What was the name of your first club? Chief Lungatli. At that age, what was the game about? Dribbling, <laughs> for me. Dribbling, I just liked having the ball, taking on as many people as possible. How old are you when you joined the Manchester United Academy? Um, I think six or seven. What was the key to your development? Uh, well, I think the thing I liked at United was the freedom that they gave you. From a young age, I liked to, to play your own game and to have the ball, to dribble and do what you liked. And that's what I really, one of the big reasons that I fell in love with football. They encouraged what? Do you think, when you look back now? Creativity, I feel. Definitely in my game, that's what, that's what definitely helped develop. What weren't they saying that maybe some coaches at other clubs might have said? Um, pass the ball more, from a young age anyway, but obviously once you get older, it starts to get more tactical and then they teach you the real, the real game. But from the first year, year or two there, it was all about freedom, all about you. What did they see in you, do you think? Um, I don't know, um, like I say, I just like to, to have the ball and to dribble and, and score goals, that was me. Because you started as? A striker, yeah. Who was your hero? Uh, growing up was Ronaldinho, but like, the more I fell in love with United and went to games and stuff, it was Rooney. Why? Yeah, he's a legend of the club and, um, I used to watch him every weekend, so that helped as well. Did you study Ronaldinho? Um, I just used to always watch his clips on YouTube. You know, I loved the way he played football, I loved all the tricks he did. He played with a smile on his face, and so I always wanted to be like that as well. The smile? Yeah. Your smile? Yeah. Is it always there? Not always on the pitch. I can, people say I don't look, I, even when I score, they say I don't look happy, but I am. Yeah, but you're too busy doing that. <laughs> the salute. Yeah, I guess so. Give us a go. Good man. Love to see more of that. Is it true Marcus Rashford's story inspired you when you were at the United Academy? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because even when I was young, I used to watch his under-18s clips when I, was, uh, when I was young, I think. When he made his debut against, uh, was it Midtjylland? Um, I remember, because he wasn't supposed to be starting, I remember me and my dad watching him and me pointing him out and saying, oh, it's Marcus Rashford. And then to watch him, the way he, he burst onto the scene from there and then against Arsenal and then carried on throughout the season and then to where he is now, is always an inspiring story. If you see it, you can be it. Was there an element of that? Yeah, it gives you, gives you hope coming from the academy, thinking that there is a pathway for us, you know, 
and that, that's a big thing with United that, that they show they always trust the young players and always give chances. What's your biggest strength? Um, biggest strength. I think that I want the ball. You're not afraid of it? No, no, I would like to have the ball. What are you first, passer, dribbler or creator? First dribbler, because it was friendly when I was young, I just I always dribble, so I think that's always first, but creator as well. What about goal scorer? Yeah, I'm starting to add it to my game more. I'm trying to score more goals as well. So I think that's, that'll come. What gets you further, talent or hard work? Hard work. I think talent gives you a good start, but hard work you have to, is what helps you build it to the next level. How hard have you worked? Very. Tell us about it. Um, the sacrifice. Yeah, I mean, from young, from young, you're at times you can't play out with your friends or do what other kids are doing because, you know, I had a dream of playing, playing football in the first year and then it's just the sacrifices you have to make. Your academy coaches say you were always determined but relaxed. Is that about right? Yeah, yeah. Cause I always wanted to win. I always wanted to win everything, but um, no, I don't know. I'm always able to keep my emotions in check and um, yeah, be calm about the way I went about things. You made your Premier League debut. You made your full Premier League debut for Manchester United last November. Did you feel ready? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I feel like coming back from the injury, the manager, he wanted me to play a lot of 21s games, which I understood, but it was also frustrating because I felt like I was ready to, to make the step up. But um, when I look back on, it, back on it now, it was the, the best thing for me. And uh, it made me the most ready I could have been for, that, for my first opportunity. What are you telling yourself when you make your Premier League full debut? Because you want to make an impression. What are you saying to yourself? Um, I was just, I was telling myself to, you know, I have to make an impact on the game. You know, I can't let the game pass me by. And I had to take the game, I had to take the ball and play my game. Grab your chance. Yeah. FA Cup quarter final, Manchester United four, Liverpool three. Sum up that game. Uh, electric. Yes or no? Do you believe in fate? Yeah. Why? Because um, I feel like what's meant for you will will happen. What do you think's been meant for you? We'll see. <laughs> you got it in mind, though. Yeah. That United Liverpool game. I think you made a big impression that day. It was a big result too. The following day, you report for England, and what happens? Yeah, I report for the under twenty ones, and then. Um, yeah, I got um, a text saying that I was with the first team and speaking to Steve Holland and he was telling me I was with them for full, um, for full camp, so that was, that was crazy, yeah. In training with England for the first time, did you feel you had to make an impression? Yeah, 100% make an impression, you know, I'm never playing football just to, just to be there or just to take part. I want to show my game and I want to play football to the best of my ability. What did you show, do you think, in that few days, that week? Um, just tried to show what I could, what I could do with the ball and without the ball as well, and um, yeah, just make an impact. Mm. What was Gareth's advice at that point? Um, he just he was telling me well when I was coming on to to play my game and do what I've been doing for for my club. Mm. Did it feel natural? Did it feel? Did you feel at all out of place? No, no, it felt good, especially with you know having all those good players around me as well. No, it felt, it felt good, it felt natural, yeah. Marcus was there, wasn't he then? Yeah, it was good having, having Rashi there. Always good having a familiar face about the place. The FA Cup final, 2024. <clears throat> what word jumps into your head? Um, dream. Do you relish the big occasion? Do I relish it? Mm. Yeah. Why? Um, you know, that's what we play football for, the big occasions. You don't win anything big unless you, unless you play in the big occasions. It's not easy, naturally, sometimes. The bigger the occasion, the, the more your mind gets in the way. Mm. I feel like you know, I want to be a great player and great players are made in those big occasions, so I have to do my best when they, when they come about. How do you cut out the noise? 
don't, you embrace it. I mean, it's an amazing atmosphere at the stadium and it's amazing all the fans around, so you almost have to use it, I guess. Do you think that game clinched your place in the Euro squad? Um, maybe, maybe, yeah, but I never really, in, at that time I never really thought about it, it was more about just in the moment in the game, but maybe. Yeah. But, yeah, grabbing that occasion is quite a quality. Did you feel it in this tournament too? Did you feel it coming on against Slovenia? Yeah, just whenever I get a chance to play, I try and give it 100% every time. And um, yeah, that's what my dad's always said to me. You know, my parents have always said to me, when you get your chance, you have to grab it with both hands because well, they're not just handing them out to ev everyone, you know. Did it feel natural the other night coming on? Yeah, I mean, I've playing with them a couple of times now, it's getting it's feeling better and better every time. So I think it'll, it's only, it'll only get better from here as well. If you start, you'll be the third youngest player to start at a tournament for England. Only two players were younger. Any idea who? Uh, Jude and Rooney. Rooney's correct. Uh, Saka. Michael Owen. Correct. Owen and Rooney. Uh, it's good company. <laughs> Is this the biggest match of your career? Yeah, probably. If there's one thing you'll focus on, what will it be? Winning the game. And if there's one quality this team need first, what is it? Um, I think my place in the team is to, to get on the ball and to link play. Try and create things for the attackers and you know create opportunities for the team. And play well, will you get a mural in Stockport? <laughs> I hope so. Phil's got one, hasn't he? Uh, hopefully I'm next. <laughs>